has been a while since I have done an update and I'm going to do my 8, 9, 10, and 11 week update because your girl has not been feeling the best, okay? And I am so sorry that I kind of left y'all, you know, stringing by a thread. I did my first update and then I went in my A. Well, if you guys have been watching the channel or you have seen my last update, then you know I was diagnosed with uh, severe nausea and vomiting. And with that, they put me on a medicine that is $900, but thank God my insurance approved it and I only had to pay $40 out of pocket. Now, with that medicine, they do not tell you how dizzy and sleepy you will be. My husband came home for about two weeks over the holidays and during those two weeks, dude, I slept. Like there was one day I slept for a whole 24 hours and don't remember sh Like I was out like a light. I woke up and I was confused like, what happened? What happened to yesterday, you know? But it was well needed. Um, so about the whole update situation, I still have the nausea. Um, I've only vomited twice, well, two days out of the four weeks that the last time you guys have seen me. Um, I'm having to take four of those pills a day to try to help with the nausea and vomiting. And for some strangely odd reason, when I eat fried foods, anything that has oil in it, I can't have it. My body rejects it, like no matter what. Um, I'm having dizzy spells. They're not as severe as they used to be, but I am having dizzy spells. And I'm also having the shortness of breath already. I swear, y'all, like for real, I feel like I'm tripping because I swear I feel like I can feel this baby moving. Like depending on how I'm sitting or how long I'm still, it's almost like a flutter. It almost feels like a, uh, what you call it, a muscle spasm that kind of just comes and goes. And it's very weird. So I think I'm feeling the baby kick, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, I'm actually in my 12th week right now. And I know that some women that are on their second baby or their second pregnancy start to feel their baby um, sometime between 12 and 15 weeks. So I don't know if this is the baby or not. Like I don't feel it on the outside, but I definitely feel it on the inside. And it almost feels like muscle spasms but you know what muscle spasm is like constant in that one specific section no this one could be over here on one side then it could be over there. like it's it's weird but i am feeling that and what else am i having y'all i'm having these massive breaks out yo all jokes aside do you see all of that do you see that big ass crater on my face bruh Ain't nobody got time for this. Like, <laughs> my face breakouts right now, ridiculous. Like, oh my gosh, that one in particular hurt like hell. Um, so what else am I having? I'm definitely growing. I can definitely tell you that. So, y'all don't judge me because I'm about to get real personal with y'all. Okay. Um, if y'all have been watching my channel for a while then you know after I had my son I had a really hard time with losing my baby weight I had preeclampsia I had the water weight and all this other stuff that was going on with me at the time plus having a c-section so I did not lose a lot of my baby weight I lost half of that 90 pounds that I gained with my son so my stomach was in all kind of disarray like I look pregnant I wasn't pregnant. My son three years old. I look like I'm seven months pregnant. Your girl is only three months. I'm just saying. But with that being said, I know I have grown because I make clothes. Okay. I make myself my own clothes sometimes. And I know my measurements. Okay. I know my measurements, you know, belly button and you know, all that stuff. So I went to measure myself the other day and I went from... 38 inches around in the weight in 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 the in the waistline 
where my, you know, my belly button is all the way around to the other side. You know what I'm saying? 38 inches around to 42 inches. And I'm looking like, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Your girl can only wear yoga pants right now because I am having the hardest time finding pregnancy clothes. Like, for some strange reason, the area where we live in, I cannot find in a maternity store. So, I'm planning on busting a trip to the next biggest um, city to me and trying to find some maternity clothes. So, if you, if, if you know any places that sell maternity clothes, tell your girl about it. Hook your girl up because I'm struggling with these yoga pants and these oversized tops. Like, it's mm, no bueno. What else have I been having? I have, okay. For the past week, I have had this migraine that has started like literally right here in the back of my neck and has crawled up into my temple on this side of my head. If I bend down like this, it's like a shooting pain right there. And I would walk around the house like this because this side of my head hurt the worst. I don't know what is going on. I can't take any of my... Um, migraine pills that I normally would have been taken from my neurologist so the only thing I can take is Tylenol and Tylenol only dubs it down to about a three as far as uh, a migraine standpoint like my migraines be on 10 and with my med because okay a little back history I see a neurologist because I have uh, chronic migraines and the medicine that I take, I take a preventative medicine and then I also have two different emergency medicines. One of which is called Maxalt. Um, it's a very, very, very expensive medication and it works very, very well. There have been times where I've actually had to go to the emergency room, be put in a soundproof room in pitch black dark and be shot with needles to get rid of my migraines because I can have a migraine that bad. So. Please excuse me if, you know, I randomly go MIA on y'all again because I'm having migraines. It's nothing personal. Your girl's just trying to get her life together. Because y'all know I got a toddler to take care of. I'm just saying. After all of that chaos with the weeks that have been going on and my symptoms and whatnot, um, I'm having growing pains. Every morning when I wake up, I am stiff and I am sore like I was beat with a bat. Do you hear me? I have to roll out of my bed to go to the bathroom at 2 o'clock in the morning. And your girl is like this, trying to move. I be feeling like I'm 50 years old. <laughs> but that's besides the point. Um, so, I've had to change my doctor because I've changed insurances. Um, before, the doctor that I was seeing was like an hour away. Okay? So, I had to change my insurance so that I can get a local doctor to me. Now that I found a local doctor to me, and this is after talking to the first doctor that I saw and the doctor that I'm seeing now, they still want to send me to a high-risk doctor. So, y'all, about to be some serious changes going on around here. Um, so, my doctor wants to send me to a high-risk doctor because I had preeclampsia with my son. And it wasn't the typical preeclampsia that starts popping up around 36 weeks. If you go back and you look at my previous vlogs, my previous pregnancy vlog when I was pregnant with my son, around 25 weeks, 24, 25 weeks, one week I looked like myself where I was my little skinty self. And then the next week I blew up like a flipping blowfish. That's when I started showing signs of preeclampsia. I started having water weight out the woosah. And it was just, everything just went downhill. I had preeclampsia. I was having to have the blood pressure issues. I started having protein in the urine. The, the, the water retention. The migraines were starting to get really ridiculous. It, it, it was bananas. Okay. I, between 25 weeks and 37 weeks, I went into preterm labor at least four times. Literally, I want to say, what was it? The week before... I was induced to have my son. I was in the hospital for preterm labor because they had to stop my labor. 
And then I started going into labor again. And they was like, we're not stopping you. You go to the hospital. You need to have this baby anyway because you already have preeclampsia. And we tried to hold out as long as we possibly could. And I made it to the 38 week. Oh, Lord. I made it to the 38 weeks. Thank you, Jesus. My son is healthy. <laughs> and I'm hoping that with this baby right here, I don't have those problems. But it's very possible that it could happen again. So they want to watch me like a hawk just to be on the safe side. So with this vlog, because y'all have been asking and asking and asking and asking, I'm going to show y'all my belly. So then that way y'all can get an idea of what my stomach is looking like and what it will start looking like as the weeks go on. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> let's get to it. Okay, so y'all don't mad, don't mind the mayhem and foolishness. I'm working on an order right now, and my room is in disarray. But here we go with this uh belly shot. So this is what my belly looks like from the front. Hopefully, you guys can see that. Let me open up a curtain for y'all, so y'all not. Let me open up a curtain for y'all, so y'all don't think I'm a bat <laughs> so here we go okay so here it is my belly from the front and as you can see my big old you know that thing my navel in there somewhere okay beyond all that fat and then here we go from the side and this side so you can tell Got a little bit of a bump. So, and I have, you know, some jiggling fat going on around there. But, uh, this is what it looks like with me, you know, just being normal. And then if I pull it in, that's about where I'm at. So, this is, this is, this is pulled in. This is with my belly pulled in. And that's with my belly out. So there's my update, you guys, and my belly shot. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will check you guys later. Bye. Um, I've been having extreme nausea to the point where I can't keep anything down at all. I have actually been sent to the emergency room because of that. 